G'day guys, how you doing? And uh, we have an absolute crack of a night, so let's get set up to start some master imaging. Well, it's taken me a little while to uh, get up and running, but we uh, we are finally ready to start imaging. Uh, this is the first night uh, underneath dark skies, I think, for this year. I think it is, actually, with the, the whole new setup with the uh, Eagle 4 computer. Um, and, yeah, so, and the RAS has been a little bit more targeted in on each other. So, yeah, it's going to be interesting how this turns out and what is almost just as interesting as i'm not imaging a nebula that was a bit of a mouthful um i'm going for a galaxy and the galaxy i'm going for is the hamburger galaxy or uh, centaurus a now uh i do love this galaxy i haven't imaged it in many years actually um so i'm very excited to see how the twin rasses go on it i'm using 90 second exposures at a gain of uh, 120 so unity gain 120 with the asi 294 mc pro cameras um we're using a uh um a temperature of minus 10 degrees and uh and i'm pretty uh pretty damn excited so right now it's doing its um auto uh focus sequence and as soon as it's finished doing that it should start its uh dual imaging session with the um dithering in each frame and communication between each camera through the two sequences of nina Whew, that was a bit of a mouthful but uh yeah i can't believe it it's an absolute cracker of a night completely still no wind i'm at a new location um which is about 100 kilometers away from where i live and uh and so far i'm loving it um oh uh, i didn't check actually to see what sort of border sky um this is so i'll be right back all right i'm back and the eagle 4 is showing a 20.96 reading on the uh on the eye which is giving me a basically a, i think it's about a border class 4 sky um Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that could be right. And I thought it was actually darker than that in this location. Um, I thought I was looking at maybe a bottle two and a half to three sky. Um, so bottle four is quite interesting. And uh, and that's one of the cool things about the Eagle uh, Eagle Pro, or sorry, the Eagle Four system is that that eye, um, which really attracted me to to know what sort of skies I'm imaging under. And I think I'm gonna um, map out or write those um, readings out on a uh, piece of paper or something like that. And maybe over the coming years, um, we may just end up going back on that, to that data I've collected just to see how much more light pollution is starting to, uh, to happen in this world. All right, well, I'm gonna, uh, see how the imaging's going um, and uh, report to these guys a bit later on. Well, I think it's about time I uh, a cooler a night. Um, tonight's imaging session has been a relatively short one compared to um, how long I usually image for. Uh, well, because I've got work in the morning and by the time I get home, it's probably going to be about 3.30 um, in the morning and up and ready for work the next day. 
the only problem with astrophotography is that it doesn't help with your daytime jobs. Oh, well, what can you do? Anyway, it's been uh, it's been fun imaging the uh, hamburger <laughs> hamburger hamburger galaxy, or as uh, yes, Centaurus A. Um, I've captured probably just over a hundred frames, maybe around 125 frames um, from each rest. No, sorry, 125 frames total. Um, I think I'm around about that 60, 70 uh, frame mark. So uh, I'm really excited to see how this image uh, turns out. It's been a really long time since I've imaged the Hamburger Galaxy, and I'm, uh, I'm very excited to, to see how it works. All right, well, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, please give me a big thumbs up leave a comment and if this is the first time you've seen one of my astro videos please check out some of my others and if you've enjoyed the uh the little adventure i've been on um please hit that subscribe and uh look forward to many more adventures that i uh like to share with you well on that note i best uh, start packing up so uh until next time guys take it easy see you